Hey traders, it's John Fortune here with this week's weekly Forex forecast for the 20th of November to the 24th of November 2017. As always, starting with the US dollar index and oil, we're going to run through a number of markets looking at the key levels of support and resistance in the process. And we're also going to be highlighting some of the targets that we're looking for in the coming week and also weeks ahead. So I hope you're all enjoying your weekend. Let's jump over to the charts and see where the money is this week. As always, starting with the US dollar index, you can see that since we had uh, inverse head and shoulders breakout over here and then also a bigger one, of course, over here, we have been pushing up higher and we have pulled back uh, possibly for a deeper retest of this broken neckline here. Now, we broke down below the key area of support at 94,030 where we were looking for a potential continuation of this trend to the upside, looking for the targets to the upside, 95.270 and the 96.695. And ever since we went into this corrective phase over here, we've been looking for further advances, but we did break down below that key area of support last week. And we actually traded into the 93.455. So although we don't yet see this as a complete reversal and a complete failure of this uh, uptrend started by the inverse head and shoulders over here, we are seeing some weakness coming into the US dollar index and we're currently sitting between these two key areas of support and resistance with the risk of going into a bit of a range like this. So what this means is uh, we no longer have a strong bias on the US dollar index. And in fact, we go into the next week with a kind of neutral bias on the US dollar index, meaning that we're going to take each of the pairs on their own merit without a strong bias on the dollar either way. If, however, we do get a break back above the failed support area of the 94.030 and we get some accumulation and we get a retest and it does, in fact, hold as support, this will be a good indication of a possible resumption of this uptrend uh, and the bullish momentum to the upside in the dollar and a continuation of this up move. And we will once again, if we get this kind of price action in this area over here, we will reestablish our bullish bias on the dollar. And we'll once again be looking for the 95.270. And then after a break of their continuation up towards the second target of the 96.695 in the US dollar index. Next, we're going to have a look at oil. Now, last week, we started last week sitting at this a uh, key area of broken resistance looking to turn support and we were looking for further advances to the upside you could see price was correcting we're looking for further advances and a breakout to the upside and a continuation of the overall push to the upside here in oil however you can see that we didn't really break back above this area in fact we had a capitulation down towards the 55.03 area which we've now uh, established as a key area of support and resistance in this market and we had a bounce from this area and we're coming back towards the previous uh, support and resistance area here at the 56.83. So going into next week, we're still looking for further advances and we're just viewing this as a deep correction in the overall push to the upside. What we'd need to see is a nice break through this area here. And if we start to get a breakthrough here in a correction, even a retest, if we get broken resistance turning support over here, that would be a great place to start to look for bullish formations and patterns. And we're going to be looking to take those longs back up towards the target, which we had highlighted from last week at the 58.79, which is the next key area of resistance to the upside in this market. So the first pair we're going to look at is the euro dollar. Now, last week, we started the week below the key area of broken support turning resistance over here at the 1.6720 and we said as we were sit starting the week and sitting underneath this area we were going to be looking for bearish formations and patterns down towards the next key area of support to the downside but as you can see we had a break above the key area of resistance which was broken at the 1.16720 and you can see we had this short covering rally come in uh, on the breakout and the taking out of all those stops and we had a break this was so strong we actually broke straight through the 1.17225 which is a key, which is the next key area resistance to the upside and we only turned and stopped once we ran into the 1.18363 over here so going into next week we are just simply looking for a correction to take place 
and possibly even a retest of broken resistance turning support at the 1.17225. And we're going to use this correction to get involved with uh, the move which is taking place and this momentum push to the upside over here. And we're going to be looking at taking uh, long positions, again, preferably from a retest of broken resistance turning support. And we're going to first of all be looking at the double top target over here, this uh, resistance, the key area of resistance is 1.18363. And if we get a break above this key area of resistance, uh, we're going to be looking for a second target to the upside of the 1.19370 in the euro dollar. The next pair we're going to look at is the pound dollar. Now, the pound dollar has been in this range, as you can see over here, for seven weeks now. And so we came into the range to the downside like this. And so we are looking at the higher probability move uh, to exit this range to the downside as well. You can see we're approaching the top of the range over here near the 1.32696 area. So very simply put, we're just playing the range here. And if we get a retest of the top of the range and this key air resistance in this area here, we're going to start looking for bearish formations and patterns. And we're going to be looking at taking those bearish formations patterns first down towards the equilibrium point of this range, which seems to be around the 1.31550 area. And then ultimately, if we get a breakthrough here, we'll be looking for further declines down towards the targets, which we've had here uh, on a longer term basis now, really since this range started at the 1.30342 and also down towards the 1.29799. So the next pair we're going to look at is the US dollar Japanese yen. Now, last week we started the US dollar Japanese yen above the key area of support at 113.186. And we're looking for further advances to the upside, not just in the US dollar yen, but also in the dollar index. And as we had that sell off in the dollar index, you can see we actually broke down below this key area of support and in the dollar Japanese yen. Uh, and this failure of support, I mean, don't forget, guys, when we give you these setups and we give you this analysis at the beginning of the week, we can only provide this analysis on the, inf the basis of the information we have starting the week. But as we go through the week, if you get this kind of price, actually you get a failure of this kind of support area like this and a retest. This is, in fact, a sell signal. And you can see once we came back and tested this broken area of support, we had this decline to the downside. And we are now looking for further declines here in the US dollar yen. So if we get a correction up towards the 113.186 and a retest of broken support turning resistance again, this would be another great opportunity to look for bearish formations and patterns, but it may be a little bit ambitious coming all the way back up to retest this area. So if we get a pullback anywhere, say between the 112.600 area, uh, this is where we will start to look for those bearish formations and patterns in this area. And if we get them, we're going to be looking to initiate those shorts down towards the two key areas of support to the downside highlighted here, which is the 111.719 and the 111.321. So the next pair we're going to look at is the Aussie US dollar. Now, last week, we finally traded into our longer term targets in the Aussie US dollar, and we had multiple opportunities to enter this pair to the downside, as we discussed in previous Forex forecasts. So hopefully this played out quite nicely for some of you. Now, since we traded into those targets and those key areas of support to the downside, we actually continued and we had a break down below this key area of support here at the 0 0.75. 715 and we go into next week sitting below this key area of support as you can see we actually came back and tested it at the end of last week so this is a great place to start to look for bearish formations and patterns and we're going to be looking at taking shorts and a continuation of this overall move to the downside down towards the next key area of support to the downside at 0 0.74888 if we get a break back above this key area of resistance and this fails to hold at the 0 0.75715, it may be a little bit risky counter trend trade in this. So ideally, what we'd like to see is a run up towards the 0 0.76274. And this would be another great place to start to look for bearish formations and patterns and a retest of this resistance to provide shorting opportunities again back down to the next key area of support to the downside, the 0 0.74888. The next pair we're going to look at is the New Zealand US dollar. Now, last week we were sitting over here and we started the week at this resistance area at the 0 0.69530. And we were looking for declines from this area. And as you can see, we had a really nice sell off. This was a good performing pair last week and we hit the targets that we had set out. And you can see we're currently sitting below the key area of broken support, looking to turn resistance at 0 0.68217. 
Now we have the next key area of support to the downside at 0 0.67726 and we have a secondary target to the downside at 0 0.66791. So we are going to be looking for bearish formations and patterns to appear in this area. We're going to be looking at taking those shorts down towards the subsequent support levels and targets to the downside. However, as this first key area of support is quite close if you cannot get the risk and reward that you need on this kind of setup there is nothing wrong with waiting for a break below this key area of support first and then looking for this kind of price action and looking for bearish formations and patterns to form on a retest of this broken support turning resistance down towards the secondary target at 0 0.66791 so just bear that in mind uh, going into next week because we are quite close to this uh, first target and key area of support to the downside here. The next pair we're going to look at is the US dollar franc. Now last week we were looking for a push down into this key area of support down here. Uh, we did actually adjust this down slightly now sitting at the 0 0.98599. We were looking for a pullback and a test of this area and last week I think we had it around this area here roughly the 98.80 area. So only adjusted it very slightly, but we were looking for a pullback and a test of this area down here before we said we were going to be looking for bullish formations and patterns to initiate longs in this pair. So you can see we are now currently sitting at this key area of support. And as long as we stay above this key area of support here, we're going to be looking for bullish formations and patterns. And we're going to now be looking to take those bullish formations and patterns long up towards the first target and the next key area of resistance, the upside at the 1.00774. And if we get a breakthrough here, we're going to be looking up towards the secondary target and the next key area of resistance, the upside at the 1.01653. The next pair we're going to look at is the Euro New Zealand dollar. Now, last week we had a fantastic move in the Euro New Zealand dollar to the upside, uh, and we had this move. We highlighted this move a lot in last week's weekly Forex forecast. We had this breakout of the downward sloping trend line denoted by these uh, highs over here. And we were just sitting in this kind of area before last week. And you can see the two targets we had to the upside from last week's weekly forex forecast got hit. And the first one, I mean, it just went straight through this one, came up to the second target up here. And this move happened very, very quickly. So this was a lovely, fantastic move in the Euro New Zealand. So I hope some of you got something out of this. Now, going into this week, we actually broke above this key area of resistance and our secondary target from last week at 1.72077. So there's no reason to fight this move to the upside. In fact, we want to get involved with this as the higher probability move is now to the upside. So if we get a correction and a retest of broken resistance turning support at the 1.72077, this is going to provide a great place to start to look for bullish formations and patterns. And we're going to be looking at initiating longs up towards the next two key areas of resistance to the upside and the targets that we have are the 1.74869 and the 1.75842 respectively. And the next and final pair that we're going to look at is the Aussie Japanese Yen. Now last week we broke down below the key area of support as you can see at the 85.703 and this thing is just trending to the downside. There is a very good chance that this is going to continue to the downside and we're looking at the higher probability move as being further declines in the Aussie yen. So what we'd like to see is a pullback and a correction take place. So we get this kind of bear flag formation. And if we get a pullback and certainly if we get a retest of broken support turning resistance, this would provide a fantastic opportunity to start to look for bearish formations and patterns. And we're going to be looking at taking those bearish formations and patterns short down towards the next key area of support to the downside at the 83.705. So that's it from me for this week, everybody. As always, I hope you enjoyed this week's video. And if you did, please let me know by liking, sharing and subscribing. A huge thank you to all of the people who have subscribed already. As you can see, last week we hit the 1000 mark, which is a great milestone to achieve. And again, I would just like to thank all of you, everybody who subscribed. Uh, we really appreciate you and, and thanks for that. A thank you as well to those of you who haven't subscribed yet, but maybe comment and like and share these videos on a regular basis. So thank you to you as well. The only thing left to say is I hope you all have a great weekend. Take care and don't forget to trade safely.